I wish you would call me bullshit for what I say in this video. I desperately want myself to be wrong when I rewatch this video in the future. Malaysian stock market underperform has everything to do with why Malaysian workers feel they are being underpaid and lowly paid but their employer disagree. Underpaid but not lowly paid? Huh? How come? If your company pays you 10,000 a month as a sales manager or a software engineer where your job scope generates 100,000 more for the company every month, then you can consider yourself highly paid and the company thinks you are fairly paid versus company pays you 2000 a month but you are an admin card, a customer service personnel, a receptionist who supports the business operations but your work does not directly bring in revenue and are easily replaceable. You will find it hard to demand a salary increment or may need to scream or threaten to quit just to get a 1% increment. Else, you cannot keep up with the increasing cost of living. Heck, you can't even maintain your standard of living and lifestyle. What? What salary increment? Ah? <laughs> Don't like your job? What? If not, you will quit? Ah, ah, I show you. Here's the door. The door there. Ah, the door. On a global scale, that is why US multinational companies can pay its software design engineers based in US for 100,000 USD a year while only paying its factory production engineer, let's say in Malaysia, for 100,000 ringgit. But with this higher minimum salary requirement law by the government, Malaysian based companies are being squeezed for profitability. Couple this with increasing overhead and material costs, Malaysian businesses may only break even or worse, losing money because revenue is useless when its expenses and costs exceeds revenue. That is when a business becomes a walking dead. No money left to reinvest into the business to do research development, to innovate higher quality product or services, to do marketing, to grow the business or even to improve customer satisfaction or experience. From there, it's downhill for the company which you see as stocks. Earnings go down when a company profit drops. PE ratio is price divided by earnings. In this equation, when earnings are down, PE ratio goes up and that is when the stocks becomes overvalued. The other value investing metrics like return on investor capital or return on equity becomes worse. Not because the company management is doing anything wrong or stupid. It is due to the tougher business and economic environment the company operates in. Investors see this and they sell the stocks. When mass selling happens, stock price goes south. When more and more Malaysian company listed in Bursa Malaysia suffers the same fate, you see the stock index KLCI starts to trend down. And that is how you ultimately see KLCI trending down, while politicians are desperately trying to paint a rosy picture for the uninformed Tom Dick and Mary on the street. On top of that, most Malaysian in low and mid-level jobs also suffer shrinking purchasing power when inflation hits them from all sides. End up, they buy less of a company product or services. Business also refrain from passing costs to consumer. That also translates to lower earnings which compounds the problems we just discussed. Sell down that leads to lower stock prices. It is a vicious cycle. Company needs to cut corners in the expenses or costs to survive or to stay competitive. Like pay the same amount of wage to workers but asking them to put in more hours at work. Basically like one person doing two person job. Or not willing to pay top notch money to the best qualified vendors or external service providers. Like something like this happen or, or overcharge their ignorant customers offering crappy sucky services. It is a loose loose cycle. Comment AHA below if you feel this is making sense. And that is why since years ago we have shifted our clients investment portfolios into regulated investment outside of Malaysia. Your advisor should be able to explain this in the clear manner to you like what I just did. Otherwise, well who am I to tell you what you should do with your money right or investment. This is the next related video to watch. Upper right hand corner for more secret videos only CF Liu Insider member gets to watch.